Yeah, it's 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 just oh yeah, this is the new shit everybody's talking about. These rocks they found in Africa. Oh, ah, he my bad. Is that vibranium? Ça va, ok. Très bien. Tosha, Tia. Très bien. Ça, Tosha, Tia. Ok. Ça t'imagine, il est bien. Ok. Ça va. So this is this is what I've seen a little bit of people talking about that, and it doesn't matter if, if, if there's no way they'll, they'll be fighting over that next, dude. Which, there's no way they'll be able to get any money off of this because they don't. That's not like we don't know how to keep nothing like that. They'll some some Chinese people come and buy this mine wherever it's at for fucking. Hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> or they will never be able to identify and refine it and actually make something out of it. They'll just like, you know, oh look at this, it sparks. Hey, yeah. you thought you thought red rubber was was an issue? Wait till you get red rock. Yeah, it's like <laughs> they Nigeria produces. They like I think the second or third largest oil producing country in all of africa and they don't have an oil refinery they have to send their oil to europe to get refined to other countries to get refined and then have it sold back to them if they had an oil refinery they could fucking be like a superpower but they have to send their oil to other countries to be refined and there's nobody building. It's not like uh, they're building an oil refinery. It's not even in the works. Not even a thought. Just think about how Akon feels. He brought all that electricity to Africa, and they were sitting on this shit the whole time. <laughs> what What is these things called? These rocks? Um, what's that? With the Congo? Congo? Mm -hmm. Stones, yeah, let's see Congo stones. Let's see what the fuck they told me. Yeah, a lot of people are saying charged stones found in the, in the in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Electrically charged stones. And now this could be a fucking ruse too. It says with the discovery of vibranium, electrically charged stones lithium. <laughs> The Democratic Republic of Congo has no excuse to be poor. <laughs> Report says the country is one of the poorest countries in the world, despite large mineral deposits with global demand. Leadership syndrome. Yeah, this is not going to be anything. They have cobalt. They have all that stuff there, man. Everything in your cell phone, they have everything you need to make your cell phone. They didn't get that shit from over there. And these people don't get anything. They don't make anything off of it. Just like blood diamonds or anything else. Yeah. They just don't, they don't know how to, and no one knows how to help them either. That's the thing too. Like, no one can help them. It, it's very hard and to it's help sad. them. it's sad. See, but the thing is, like, they'll sell all of that for $100 million. And then when a Chinese man or the uh, a gladder gets a billion dollars offered, 
they could see how that person, you know, robbed them or something like that. Yeah, they definitely sell out. They'll sell out. They'll definitely sell out. I don't know. Look at this person. Um, they say electric stone discovered in Congo. Check how European will use this new discovery while we suffering from load shedding. <laughs> yeah, Europeans will, will take this and fucking go to the moon with that shit. Yeah, right, they, create a whole spaceship. <laughs> yeah, we won't. We, we, we don't know. Create fusion out of it. Free energy. Yeah, we we don't know how to do. We where there's no way. When I heard this, it made me sad because they're bragging. Black people online bragging about this shit. You know, like yeah, blackness, black boy joy, black you know, black power, and all this bullshit. And it's like, dude, you're not gonna make nothing out of this. If this is real, and it might be fake, it might be some Africans just fucking doing a ruse on people and shit. Look at this one. <laughs> the United Nations down to the Democratic Republic of Congo out here. I'm electrically charged those. Knock, knock. It's us, freedom and democracy. <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, man. But you can see Jay Z is not, is not jumping on this. Oh, hell that ain't jumping on this. Hell I don't nothing. see JC doing that. They can't even fathom this. Now, if it was a, a dude who made a video of dancing or some shit or rapping from the Congo, then, you know, most black people can't understand. Like, what do you do with this? You got, the, to even think about what you're going to do with this takes a certain type of mind. Have you seen a video called African Airlines or uh, African Homemade Planes? No, they make planes in Africa? Uh, give it a Google or a YouTube Africa. search or whatever. Oh, bless African their soul. Airlines? I don't know how to send one of them things. Bless their heart. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a sticky proposition, man. Um... That's a sticky proposition, man. Yeah, um, I'll just I'll just take the delay. He said he says he said uh spirit ain't got nothing on niggas open as African Airlines. Yeah, I went to the next one. Yeah, African Airlines Airlines is rough, man. That's a rough that's some rough shit, man. Um but yeah, these these people will never make a dime off any of this stuff, man. Um let me see. Let me share, let me share my screen. I gotta share my own screen. What's up? Um, um, they'll never make a dime off of this stuff, man. <sighs> Although you may be cold on the East Coast, but where's those black millionaires and billionaires to invest into that? Like, if we was talking about like that, we want to create our own subculture. That's the wave. Like that, yeah. something like that would be it. Yeah, it's just I, I don't I just everyone knows that there's no way if this stuff is real, there's no way black people will benefit from this in any way. We didn't even benefit from slavery, man. Selling slaves. And that is true. Yeah, so it's like Vibranium charge. They're already calling it vibranium. Instead of trying to instead of trying to find out what it really is, like what the real properties, the you know, the chemistry, what that table they got, that chemistry table they got, trying to find out what it really is. We something just gonna call it vibranium. Periodic table. Yeah, periodic table. We just gonna call it vibranium. Nice. Or some other people gonna go over there and find out what's really in it, what's made of, what properties, what's happening, what reaction is happening. We just gonna be running around talking about vibranium. Fuck the child love. <laughs> yeah, this is this them is, off, this, remember? There's no way that this gonna benefit some people. No way. 
nowhere. It sad, it saddens me too, and everyone knows. Dr. Umar, Tariq Nasheed know that. They know that some people all over the world, not just Africa, some people all over the world cannot make this, cannot benefit from this, man. It says a gram of the electricity charged stone is believed to light a bulb for over 72 hours. While a kilo of such rock is said to have the power to light a two-bedroom house for at least two months. Well, that's a lot of preliminary shit. We got to get... And the thing about it is you the only way you can find out the real power of this is to let some gliders or some tigers go over there and test it. You know what I mean? Like, you'll need some gliders and some tigers to actually tell you what it's worth. It's because they don't even care about their own community. You know what I mean? To be able to, like, put that together. Because, like, like I mean, even in a lot of places in Africa, it doesn't even have electricity. You found two rocks that create electricity. Yeah, like, how but do they know it's more? Acorn. Yeah, but how do they know it's more? How do they know? How do they know there's more of these rocks if this is true? And I think this is horseshit too. I want to. I want to know what people think about this, man. Let me. Let me I have see. a problem with the name of it. That's what tells me it's a hoax. What? It needs a lot of testing um, to be done. The vibranium I mean, thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do they, what, what just the African call it? Like, cause I'm sure they're just now getting the first DVD of, of Black Panther. <laughs> no. Vibranium is the name of the uh, from the movie Black Panther and stuff. The superhero his suit is supposed to be made out of it and shit. It's from fucking Wakanda crap. There you go. I didn't see the movie. You didn't see Roman man. You didn't see Black Panther man. I'm shocked man. Yeah, you were just inviting them to Wyoming yesterday. Yeah, but I, hey, 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 I rescinded that invite. That shit got canceled because that girl. Ah, oh, great. Now I got to see if you hold will give me a refund, man. Yeah, I didn't uh, see the second apparently, one. Apparently, uh, vibranium is a uh, you know a metal dropped down on uh, Wakanda from from a meteorite that has magical properties, and they're able to refine it into everything that they need. And it's you know, like super strong, and you know, can be refined to produce electricity and everything else, and all technology. <laughs> it's, it's just something just done. It, 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 like it's like these two rocks. Okay, so this somebody's making a lot of noise. Somebody got to mute themselves. But this, this, these, these two rocks, right? So this is a day old, right? when they found this it should be a thousand videos out other videos it's just this one video of these same two rocks and then this rock right here you think it would be you know more videos out by now because over there in the congo warlords and all these rebel groups they're not going over there and, and black people like to brag wherever we are we like to you know what I'm saying? We like the um what's the, the fact word? that like people are actually Hello? thinking that this thing is yeah. real bothers me. I, there's no way. It's okay, so you got these two rocks, right? But if they touch, they create electricity. Great. So they're in the ground. Why aren't they sparking down there all the time? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, man. Because it's they're grounded, lot. they're in the ground. Well, even if they're you. charged, if they touch each other, they dissipate the charge to each other, and they don't keep charging. It's not an infinite thing. That's I want to show you something. Joke. I want to show you something. This is the Congo, right? They have a thing called Congo dandies, right? Because they just told you Congo is one of the poorest countries in the world, right? Congo's poorer than Haiti. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. But if Haiti was in Africa, it would be one of the, you know wealthier countries like behind of course south america south africa ethiopia kenya and nigeria and stuff 
Ghana and places like that, but it will be in the top 20. Haiti. This is Congo. I've actually seen that. To Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of Congo or the DRC. This country is known as the richest and the poorest country in the entire world. Richest because it has so many natural resources. We're talking gold, diamonds, cobalt, you name it, it's here. And also the Congo River, the mighty Congo River, if it could be harnessed, could power the entirety of Africa. But despite all of this, the people have very little. I mean, just listen to that, man. And they, and they just found some rocks. Say these rocks are really those rocks. There's no way it's impossible for them to but, do uh, they can, But they can dance, though. Watch this, though. But there is a group here called the Society of Elegant People and Ambience Makers, and they make a full-time living dressing fresh. Let's meet a local celebrity. Oh, hell no. Is this a joke? This is very real. Congo Dandies. They're called Congo Dandies. What is it? This is a chaussure. It's a gando. Crocodile. It's a sort of l'eau and venir to the terre. So it's too cheap. Okay. Bonjour tout le monde. Je vous présente le chef, le président de tous les sapeurs congolais. Je suis congolais. Je suis Eke Komonimanda. C'est à dire, je suis Stati. Tout le monde me m'appelle dans l'air non qu'il veut. Ah champion. Ah Lyopar. Ah mon Kondabi Lamba. Donc, je suis le seigneur des habits. Eke Komonimanda vivant. Premièrement, la sapologie, la sap, c'est dans la, c'est biblique. C'est vraiment biblique parce que la sap, c'est dans la Bible. Tu vois quand El Shaddai a créé sa terre. L'homme était né. C'est là où la sape a commencé. Genèse 3, verset 21. El Shaddai n'a pas voulu voir la nudité de l'homme après avoir le péché d'Adam. Un sapeur, il faut rester toujours avec la titille. Tu vois comme je suis comme ça. Je te regarde comme si je ne te regarde pas. Toi, tu vois que je te regarde, mais je ne te regarde pas. Je regarde de mire. Oh, I have to touch. Again? I do gotta say, that was a straight cat when he said about God now. Yeah, I mean, they gotta. I know clothes, the clothes know me. I gotta saw Adam with clothes on. They gotta couch it in religion so they can, like, Everybody does that. Everybody uses religion to cover up with the door. So we're going to see how well he knows clothes because behind that door is his wardrobe. We're going to do a little tour. Now, this man's kids. Look at his house. Oh this God. man's kids drink peanut butter. They drink peanut water for dinner. Okay? His kids drink peanut water for dinner and, and wear hand me down flip-flops or sapology is an abbreviation of the society of ambience makers and elegant people it's a religion and subculture born here in Kinshasa and the neighboring city of Brazzaville besides sapeurs some also call these people the Congo dandies clothing brands mean everything to a sapeur Ikeko invites me into his bedroom slash closet to show me some of the highlights. Uh -huh. It's a uh, white or silver, right? <laughs> Every bit of that is counterfeit. This is terrible. Oh. Yeah, but these people, what whether it's counterfeit or real, they pay a top dollar for it. Uh -huh. Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce and Gabbana. Uh huh. No joke. These are, I gotta say, these are very nice clothes. Ça c'est H&M. H&M. Ah, H&M. Okay. Yeah. Another quality brand? It's not. Oh, c'est Zara. He said it's another not. quality brand. Oh my God, funny shit. Like, that white dude is like, he's laughing at him. He's, he's like, like, he's straight clown. H&M. Like, 
another quality brand. Ça c'est Zara. Zara. C'est quatre lettres comme Sida. Zara. Four letters like HIV. Like HIV. HIV is three letters, my friend. H I V for in French is Sida. Okay, we're off the rails a bit. Akeko says his wife is totally cool with him spending so much money on clothes, but I wanted to double check. Bon, abin sumbwa ye ka pas pas tellement parce que mi na jua tu ye ni muntu ye kazi yake ni mambu. Mane ke baby na tu vika kutulisha na kutulipia manyumba ina ina tokea parti ile mambu kuna To show me the fancier side of Kinshasa. So they're influencers. Look at this. They have open sewers, dirt roads. I'm learning quickly that a Keko, the living monument, is a strange guy to hang out with. I hate to say this, but that HIV ça. label, ça, pas pour I don't think that's enfants. a label, but a <laughs> test <laughs> result. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed right now. <laughs> this is the most uh, the most intense shopping I've done in my entire life. Are we baptized into Sapology? He will still take you down with a machete. So we proceed to try on some clothes. Ekeko gets an orange bedazzled suit. He gets some pretty fresh pants and some crocodile skin shoes. He's so excited that he runs into traffic. Now mind you, these people live in abject poverty. Abject. And they're living their best life, enjoying it, everything else. Abject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Let's go make a fool out of ourselves. And then we hit the streets. What you're listening to right now, it's the official song of SAP. Double casket. Now do you see we're like we're like this all over the world. This is just a different interpretation of it, but it's very similar to African Americans. You know what I'm saying? They like, got all those white man names on them. Yeah. All I can think of is the Beatles song, Dandy. Danny, right. where have you been now? Salute to Paul Federal, man. Um, yeah, man, it's it's, it's people. It's, these people, these are sun people, man. Washington, grand pays, imbécile, ya bilamba. Mombele, miakos, azalaka peti, fisse, ya koko. Japonais, au kitoe. Each of the crew members has their own unique personality, their own strut, their own tricks, and their own unique way to stop traffic. <laughs> Congolese version of the water place. It's a white guy. It's a spectacle. <laughs> when I uh, I 
I asked about it, I thought we were going to be on a side street, not on the main street in the middle of the traffic. There's hey, been a massive hey, amount uh, I got of a exploitation question. and a gold. What? What? What is it about this? What is it with the sub ad that we feel like we always got to put on a show for everybody? That's what we do well, though. Like we do, we do it well. That's like, your problem, Mark. Like even even me, I'm a sub man myself, and like dude, I was listening to a podcast on my way to work, and then right when I pull up to work, I switch it to some trap music so I can pull up like I'm bumping. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even know why I do it. I really don't even know why I do it. It's literally natural. Oh man! Oh, like. Man. I was listening to a whole history podcast. Turn that shit off and turn on some little dirt. Bonjour and welcome to Brazzaville in the Republic. Even the white folk, they just, they're fascinated with this because they come, this guy comes from a very rich country. Look how he dresses. And they, Bonjour and welcome to Brazzaville in the Republic of Congo, country number 188. Realize he has no Doji Kumano. There are many unique things about Brazzaville that I can tell you about, such as the green taxis or the impressive bridges. But nothing to me is more special than the sappers. Ouais, je me surnomme de Doji Garmani. Euh, moi, je m'appelle Tapis Laurel. Moi, c'est héritier de Nesquin, sir. Nous sommes les sappers du Congo Brazzaville. <laughs> also known as the Brazzaville Dandies, the sappers are Congolese men who like to dress themselves in swanky suits, ties, and colorful attire. Why? Nothing more than to gain attention. So can you explain what is the sap? La sap is d'abord l'élégance. Sap is a movement, it's a religion here, and you have to get it in your in, in yourself. When you dress so nice. How does it make you feel? Yeah. Je me sens que je suis à l'aise. When you dress like that, it's very fine. Another one just rolling up. Is that your friend? Yes. <laughs> Another guy just rolling up casually. Ça va? Ouais, ça va. Uh, my name is Kunzilele. I'm with my buddy Patrick here, and I'm asking him. I've noticed that people here kind of respect the sappers. Like when they see them in the street, they say hi, they acknowledge them. Yeah, that's true. It's part of our culture. Like when you see a sapper walking into the you know, we respect them. The sappers pride themselves in dressing uniquely from one another, never wearing the same outfit each day. They have their own bro code and way of interacting. Like when greeting each other, they rub the front of their heads together. It's almost like a cult. But perhaps the most interesting thing about the sappers is that they often come from the slums of Brazzaville, but nonetheless manage to get their hands on the most fine tailored suits and accessories. <laughs> so imagine some all these guys, this is what I tell you. These guys have this guy probably has 10 kids and a wife that are home right now drinking peanut water for lunch. And eating fucking stale bread. But he's and how many realize. millions of people do these cities have in them? It could be a mental illness, or you perverse anything when you wrap it in religion and get away with it. No, dude, it's a sun man thing. Yeah, it's not that. And it, 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 his thing is they like, could I, probably I, take me this. As a man, I'm watching this. I'm like, yeah, I get it. They could probably I take this it. and throw it on YouTube themselves. And monetize it and make money off of it. Yeah, they could have, but they can't. That, they they can't. They can't. I, I see what you're saying, but but how just, does that give me pussy today? Yeah, we're just not built like that, man. We're different, man. We're different, man. And accessories. All right, we're now going to the store where all the separate shop right here. Check it out. Like he's saying, this is like an expensive pair of shoes. It's around 1,800 euros. It's fake though, right? Yeah. We don't have a home, bro. 
He has no house. Don't ask him. <laughs> I know it's fake. He fake yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can be seen walking in all areas of the city. It's kind of like built into their culture, and they're really proud of it. When did you become a sapper? Je suis devenu sapper dans les années lointaines. He, he, he became a sapper 1996. Moi, j'ai commencé la sape en 1999. He started sapology in 1979. Je suis devenu sapper depuis les années 1994. He became a sapper uh, since 1984. So, if I want to become a sapper right now, how do I do it? If you want to be a sapper, you, you, you have to like it before, to initiate it second, second end, we, we, we bring you <laughs> the, 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 the rest of all. J'ai été initié dans le temple sapéritique par mon grand frère aîné Yvon Le Valeur. He was initiated uh, by his big brothers. So I'm just chilling at a restaurant in downtown Brazzaville with a bunch of sappers and they're just slugging beer after beer like it's nobody's business. It's hilarious. These guys can drink like crazy. Witnessing the unique culture of the sappers reminds me that in life anyone can choose who they want to be. For these guys, it's all about peace, friendship, and happiness. It's been a great experience here today with the sappers of Brazzaville. It's just, it's so cool to see them. Like, it's... <laughs> just think about Hakuna Matata. It, it, listen, man, there's no hope for this. To, to try to fix this, think about this. Somebody somewhere that's going to be like, hey, guys, um, you, you can, you know, you can, you know, you can spend that money on like your family and, 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 your children can eat square meals every day and you know what I'm saying you can you know what I'm saying maybe get air conditioning or central heat or is it a maybe, Doji Cabana air conditioner? Yeah, you tile your floors or build a roof, fix your roof. And it's like that person who's gonna go there and try to convince them to do that, they're a fucking fool. Cause there's no hope. There's no hope, okay? <laughs> no hope. This video actually made me feel worse than all of like the news that you always usually show. Like this is actually worse. Like this shows that it is the DNA. And it's if, if you, it's if you think back. it's all nature, what is the difference between your mindset, X mindset, etc.? I think. The only difference between, like, I think me and I, Sudbury, we're able to be honest with ourselves and with reality around us. Like, I can say that for myself. I'm like, most of my problems that I've had in my life did not come from a white man. A lot of those shits came from a son man. You know what I mean? So it's like, for me, I can look at life. I'm like, actually, man, maybe they were judging us on our character the entire time. And not the color of our skin. Yeah, they were, man. They were, man. And it's right. Was that a time thing or a learned thing? Uh, for it to I, change? Honestly, for my... Uh, so, like, just, like, a quick, like, thing for me. Like, I grew up... I didn't have cable. But we had, like, you know, the local channels and shit. And I used to watch um my wife and kids. And I realized, like, Michael Kyle don't talk like those dudes in my neighborhood. Nobody on TV talks like that. You know what I mean? So once I kind of like put that, put those two things together, I was like, why would I? You know, so I've always been told I talk white. You really? Know? Yeah. Who the fuck like, told you that? Niggas. <laughs> wow. You know, so, so I've always gotten that, that, that thing, you know what I mean? And I'm like, is that even talking white? It, 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 it's, it's not even the fact, I don't even like, it's just the fact that I didn't use slang for no reason. I didn't just fill sentences with curse words for no reason. And I can, and I knew, I, I know a lot of words. You know, I can, you know, so I got a, a wide dictionary, I guess, for my personal dictionary for myself. And, um, and a lot of dudes don't have that in the community. And so, like, when I was doing it, they was just like, yo, what the fuck? And it's like, and I, but I grew up with them right alongside of them. But when I went home, I just watch different things on TV. I didn't watch Boys in the Hood every day. Mm. Yeah, I mean, look, man. <laughs> like, wow. I, like, I think about this. 
How many, every time you hang around a black person, black, hang around black people, how many times do you hear a, a Friday quote? <laughs> it is literally every time, every day. It is like, bro, there are so many more movies. You know, and that's just a, that's just one of those things. Maybe if, you, maybe, maybe if you're not well-rounded. I mean, bro, I hear, I hear a Friday quote every day. Coming from who? Or what type of person? The Sun Man. I mean, what type of Sun Man? Sunny, Sunny Man. Like, yeah, you know, it is like, like for me, and like the way I've kind of like branched off myself, like um, I do carpentry, um, I build houses and do remodeling. Like, so I've like branched off away from that, but it's like those guys are still my friends. They haven't been my friends. I just like, you know, like you grow up with somebody. And so like, you almost kind of in a life contract with them just because you grew up with them in a way. So we like, really. always, keep, always keep in touch, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. And anytime I talk to them, I'm like, bro, motherfuckers been doing the same shit for 10 years. And I'm like... Why, why not just cut them off if they're not productive? I mean, they're not productive for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And I don't rely on them for my productivity. I'm productive on my own. So for myself, like, I can hang around them and be like, oh, man, y'all do y'all going to do that? All right, well... Shit, I gotta I gotta go to work in the morning. So I, I slide out. You know what I mean? And I've always been like that. You know what I mean? So it's like for me growing even growing up, I grew up in Richmond, Virginia. So like uh um, Yeah, what part of Richmond are you from? Uh Southside, Blackwell. Oh, Blackwell. Okay, that's a, a suburb. No, 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 no. Well, it is now. No, right it's off. It's not uh, Richmond proper. No, no, that's still right. It's still in Richmond. You're thinking about like once you get up to Chester. Okay. If you go if you go down uh Jeff Jefferson Davis. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. uh, but Black so, Blackwell was still like What court you from? What court is uh, you from? Uh, I grew up on 16th Street. 16th of uh was you ain't from one of the courts. Okay, okay. Did no, 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 no. I ain't like I ain't like from Mosby. But like I I grew up like uh Blackwell also have had, had a hillside in it. Yeah. Hillside court. So like I grew up in this shit, bro, and like for me. Yeah. Like I always just realized, like you've been around a lot of retarded Richmond. Richmond, some people are retarded though. Like, so, and I'm and when I say that, I'm not I'm not like talking about like literally retarded. But no, 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 no. Like their swag, their swag is kind of like uh, like the way they talk. They 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 they, they dumb it down really, yeah. really, really. Yeah. Uh, they literally they, like their vocabulary is very. Yeah, very that's slim. why now now knowing you from Richmond, it, it makes more sense. But yeah, if you was from DC, no one would ever say you talk like a white guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, you had never heard that. But, but you, just, I, I don't know. I think it's maybe it's coming up because of my voice. You know, well, Cali. My, my, if you was from Cali, no one would have ever told you yeah. that. Like, like, but uh, but like for me, like, but the best thing I did in my life, bro, was like when I was like twenty one. Like I'm twenty nine now. I moved out to New Albany, Indiana. And I've been here for the last 10 years or so. And one of the greatest things I ever did. Experience yeah. being around white people. Oh, are, are, are the sons coming? No. So here's the greatest thing. So, like, there's a bridge in between this and Louisville, Kentucky. Right? Louisville, okay. Kentucky is seven minutes away from me. There's a bridge. Boy. And some people don't come over here because there's, like, this myth and theory around that, like, the cops over here do not fuck around. You do something over here. You get ten years. Oh, not fuck, yeah, not it's fuck like Virginia. It's like here with Virginia, like um, the Sun Men. They, they they'll go into Maryland and fuck up, but they yeah. they're terrified of going into Virginia and fucking up. Right, yeah. Know. And and that tells that's what I tell people. Like Sun Man knows. Like when 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 you if you if if there's a place where the laws are strict and the sentences are long, Sun Man, the sun man know they know that. It's not a mystery. It's not like it's not like something like they know everybody in the gutters, gutterous, gutterous woods. The sun man know. Oh shit, you going over there? The sun man knows all the laws. That's on the yeah. He knows all the laws. That's true. Very like true. And that, that, that's the thing is like that always gets me when people are like, you know, um, you know, like how we so oppressed or like all oh, that shit. I'm like, no, no, these niggas actually know way more than y'all think they know. Yeah, like. Like when the PP, like how long was how, how long was the PPP loan out before some people jumped on it? Two minutes. And wrecked that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
it doesn't take long for us to learn something. Like the whole show, The Wire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if the, if the Sun Man can get the jump on you, they will always get the jump on you. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. We 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 we're um kind of brutish with it though. That's the only thing we wear it out quick because we we so brutish with it. We yeah. We don't have we don't finesse. We don't have that finesse to make it last long time. That's the but, that's the if we had that that that's just the missing key. If we had that little bit more finesse, but yeah, let like, me. It was like 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 the Italians. Like you saw that you saw that video. Yeah, the codify it. Codify it. Uh, that was stealing packages off the door. Yeah, like. They would have like the Italians would have robbed you, and then came back a week later and said, "Hey, if you want somebody to protect you, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, and make sure this shit don't pop up, you know what I'm saying." And then we, there was the same ones that robbed you beforehand. So that's the the double finesse, you know. Yeah, let me let, let me some let me, don't have that. Yeah, yeah, great, great shit. Let me move along though. All right. We begin with an arrest in the January 12th shooting death of Nikaba Collier. Deputies have arrested Angela Denise Baxter on charges of second degree murder and shooting or throwing a missile into a vehicle. Collier was killed on. <laughs>